Mystic, if I'm correct, now don't quote me on it. Um, uh, how do you open this? Ah, here we go. Yeah, Pro Mystic, there you go. By Designed by uh, Craig Filicetti of Pro Mystic. There we go. So this is the box. You have uh, kind of a magnetic opening here. Um, then you get this thing for you to go probe Mystic and check some of the products. And the products are really, really good. And uh, this is the box. You get the gimmick and a controller for it. Um, and then inside, I think I took some stuff out. Yeah, so this actually magnet comes in. So you get uh, um, some kind of refills. Uh, I'll kind of talk to you about this magnet in a second. So that's that's the gimmick there. Now, you have loads of effects for this. Um, the, the, the video comes on as a YouTube link, so as soon as you buy, buy it, Illusionist will send you the link for it. Um, it's on YouTube, uh, it's very well shot. Um, you know, if you have the YouTube download, you'll be able to download it easily. Um, you I think, uh, I think uh, I can't remember the name of the, it's not Bobby Mota that actually has the, gives you the, the, the instructions how, how to use it and all different effects. Because uh, I think, if, if I remember correctly, it was on a sort of a car crash when that happened. So somebody else shot the videos, but he's very, very good. Uh, he shows th the instructions are very good. Like there's no, um, there's, he shows loads of different handlings, how to hide it, how to clean it, um, how to, to come out of it, you know, clean it for, for inspection and all that type of stuff. But it's very, very well, um, very well shot and, uh, you know, and he's quite funny on certain things, the way that he handles everything. So I think the video is very, very good. Um, now, talking about the gimmick itself, I think this is um, more of like a stage thing. I think as a close-up, uh, I don't think it will work very well, mainly because on uh, some of most of the effects, actually. Um, so you have the effect of... Um, kind of uh, sending a, a ring or an object towards you. Um, you have another effect of knocking down a, a, an object. Um, there's, there's about, I think, five, about, again, five or six different effects. Now, they're all quite impactful, but the majority of them do require some sort of a setup. Um, if you were standing up and you kind of wanted some, like there's as well the floating ring, um, which there is a bit of, again, of a setup to it. So I think this will work more better as, as, a, um, as a stage, um, unless you have time to, to, to um, reset this, uh, which, which um, brings me to, to a point which is um, the setup time isn't great on this so because if you're doing for example if you're doing the the object falling which is if you if you've seen the trailer it just points at something and that the object falls there is actually a particular setup to it uh, and if you do that effect you probably won't be able to do a different effect because especially if that that object is far away and that's why i'm saying it's more of a stage thing than anything else now like i said it's very powerful but you won't be able to do it again. So, um, and, and so that's that's one of the effects that it's just pretty much by itself, and then that's it. You, unless you go and get the gimmick, uh, you won't be able to, to use it. On your person, you can do the the you know the catching the keys or the floating ring, um, but even those, it depends on the setup. Like if you're sitting down. First, uh, I, I like I like m most of my magic is impromptu, like borrow this and that's and on the spot, and I think a lot of, and, and this is not really like a one spot uh, type of thing. You need to have a little bit of preparation for a lot of the effects. So if you're if you just want to go onto the street and just perform these things, you need to take in. A, uh, uh, into account that you're gonna have to have some a small setup before, and if somebody asks you to to, to do it again, or if you want to do it again, or, or 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 another effect, you might have to kind of have actually some time to set up. Or and, and I don't mean do a, another trick and then go into it, as in get out, go somewhere and actually uh, put it, uh, put it on yourself and kind of um, work with it. So 
But anyway, that's I think that's enough talking about it. Um, so this is the the gimmick. I'm not gonna show the inside of it. Um, I'm just gonna show what it is. And pretty much, so what it is is like is a thread, and um, it's a thread with with the with a bit of tack, pretty much, uh, which you can attach it anywhere. Now, there's a couple of bad things that I didn't like. There's a couple of things I did like and a couple of things I didn't like. The good things I did like is, so it comes with a remote. So I'll just take the remote out. And the remote, some, it may be synced to this or may not be synced to it. No, like I said, the instruction videos will show you how to sync it and it's very easy. Uh, mine actually didn't come synced, so it was very easy to sync. But another cool thing is, although you have buttons here, which uh, one, it's pretty much like for the gimmick to work straight away, and another one for the gimmick uh, to work in five seconds after you press it. Uh, the cool thing about it is the fact that you can actually use um, a magnetic ring. So if you have a ring with some sort of a magnet, you just need to go over the, um, the, the, the remote and the remote will behave based on the, like there's a couple of settings on this that you again he explains on the instruction video and once you pass the the the, the magnetic ring over it you'll make the the gimmick work now the gimmick you can it comes with this kind of like um sticker that the cool thing about it is it can be washed so you pretty much can attach anywhere uh this and then this magnet uh it actually goes inside of this and is really really strong magnet as you can see and allows you to attach the the gimmick to uh, metal surfaces um, which which is great now when this i have a couple of problems with this so when this arrived uh, the magnet was inside of it and it's technically supposed to be glued but the glue came off and to be honest glue magnet to plastic is, is, isn't great so when I tried to get the gimmick to work, as I was pulling the thread, the thread didn't come out and it snapped a couple of times and I was, couldn't figure out what was wrong. And the actual gimmick wasn't working. And what it was, was because the, the magnet was loose. It, it kept the reel from moving. Uh, so the gimmick wasn't working. Once I took the magnet out, it, it was fine. Now, I spoke with illusionists about it to kind of give them a heads up and they said that did speak they say they said that on the video to kind of take the magnet out because that's probably could have problems with it and i didn't see anything in the video i could be very wrong but i watched the video twice and i didn't say anything about it so i think it's worth um mentioning that if you don't need the magnet to attach anywhere because again like i said i think this is more of a stage thing than anything else so you the magnet probably very limited use uh, it's gonna have a very limited use so I would recommend just to take the magnet out even if it's cool just remove it so you have to take the the reel out and then take the magnet out it comes with two reels uh, as far as I know it's two different threads uh, and then you have here kind of like a, a wheel to kind of um, give the velocity of how things how the thread behaves if this is very high what's gonna happen is the thread is gonna go so fast that one or is gonna leave the tack behind and the thread goes by itself and that happened to me uh, two it may actually snap and uh, what was the third one there was another third one that happened so um or maybe there was just those two yeah so one of the things that did happen to me was the fact that the, the thread came out and left the tack behind which obviously isn't great you don't want that uh, because then the effect is gone and the thread is all the way in. And then you have to open the whole gimmick and take the thread out. So you have to, to play with it for a bit and try to find out the the, actual, the best uh, the best velocity for you. But I would say when you get the gimmick, bring this all the way. So you have plus and minus. Bring this all the way to minus because uh, on plus the 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 thread will just go like crazy uh, and and that's it. So practice with it for a bit. Uh, another thing is like it's the, the, the tack at times it feels like it just come, you know it just stays and the thread goes out. So another thing you have to be sure is like I don't know make, maybe make a ball out of the out of the thread and then put the tack on, on top of it and kind of roll it around um, and uh, and then use it. So there's a couple of I think finicky things with it. So uh, so 
as a whole, it's like I said, I think it's better for stage. I don't think it's that great for a close up because I think there's too much of a setup for it. Um, I think it's good, but it's, I think it's too much of a setup. So, um, like before you buy it, maybe take those things into consideration. Like if you're more of a stage guy, I think this would be perfect. Uh, but again, it also depends on the effects that you're going to do because, like I said, the, the effect that it shows on the trailer that Bobby is pointing at an object and that object falls, that's a setup to it. And if that object is far away, uh, pretty much just, you know, unless you have two of these, that's it. You're doing that effect and that's the end of that. You won't, you won't be doing that effect again because um, because that's where the gimmick is going to be. Like you know, Now, I do know, if I remember correctly, the remote works, I think, up to 50 meters or, or, or 30 meters. I'm not 100% sure and now. Uh, so that's a bit of a distance. So you could actually, you know, be quite far away from the object and then uh, the, they'll fall, that's fall. Now, we go this into, again, into a couple of um, different points. So technically, uh, how easy or hard it is to do to perform, I think, is about the middle of the road. So I would say it's about the five. It's, it's not very, it's not very hard at all, I don't think. But it's the... Um, I think the setup of it and the, the, the clean, there's a bit of a cleanup to do. Uh, oh yeah, there was another another thing actually before I say, the, one of the tricks was uh, putting the, it's like a hunter deck type of a trick where the, the you know, you put the card in the middle of the deck and the, the card comes out. I have a bit of a, again, an issue with that because if the card is pretty much in the middle there's two things that might happen. One, you may actually attach uh, to your card and the bottom card, so you may end up pulling two cards. Or, again, based on the speed that you have set and how the tack is around the thread, you may actually just pull the thread and leave the tack on the pack, which is, you know, once again, isn't great. So I think, for that effect, if you know the haunted deck, I think you're better to do it with, with loops than necessarily this, because I think there's again there's two a uh, couple things that could go wrong. Uh, I did I tested this uh, uh, on the first day they arrived. I tried a bunch of different things. I tried all the different effects, um, and uh, that was one of the things that happened because I have just two cards here. So let's say you put the tack over here, which is white. You also they also show you how to clean the tack, but you also they also send you um, like more tack. On below this, so if you open this, uh, it's just here you have a little tray there, and there's just more tack, so it's it, it's cool. Um, they don't give you a magnetic ring, so you need to buy one, or maybe you have one. But anyway, so even when you put the tack here, and then let's say it goes, let's say in the middle of a deck like that, uh, as it pulls, because you have a tack there. You may attach to this card, it may end up pulling two cards at the same time. So you kind of have to be careful with it. So if you are going to do a haunted effect, I would recommend to put more towards the top of the deck than necessarily in the middle or the very, very bottom. If it's in the very, very bottom, you may end up just pulling the thread and leaving the actual uh, card behind. And that's your trick gone with a bit of tack in the middle of the, of the deck. So just kind of be aware of that um, if you are going to perform it. Once again, Play, if you are going to buy it, play at home and and um, and kind of uh, you know figure out what works and what doesn't work for you. I am going to I bought it and I am going to use it. I do have a couple of ideas for it, but once again, I think I'm a bit restricted of on a couple of things because there is no um, instant reset really. Like uh, unless you do an effect again, once again they show you how to use it and they show you how to clean. There's one or two tricks that you can do that you can pretty much reset, like the hunter deck again, if you have it on top and then you, you move to like a, ret a retrievement of keys or something like that. You can, you can do those two tricks um, with, you know, with no uh, pretty much instant reset because it, you know it's, it's, pretty, it's roughly based on the same handling. Um, but there's other ones like, again, I go to the whole bottle one that has on the trailer, you can't do, you won't be able to do that one and then let's say the hunter deck straight away uh, because the gimmick will be far away in order for that to work. Um, so once again, this is for sale on the Illusionist, I think it's about 200, I think it's $250, I'm just gonna check um, for us, I'm just gonna put here now on Google just to check that because I can't remember. Um, 
exactly how much it is, but while I search for it, uh, so technically I'd say it's about the five. Um, it's you know easy enough to 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 uh, handle it. Um, as an impact, I think it has a massive impact. Um, you know, people seeing things just falling as, as you point or as they point. You know, there's a, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, as obviously as they point, you need to kind of time it. Um, and uh, you also have the you know the one two three four five and then something falling, which is once again you, it's it's a very I think it's very very powerful um, um, very powerful powerful um, effect. I don't think um, it's for close up. I think you can do a couple of close up things, but I do think this is better at a stage, uh, to be honest. Um, the gimmick construction of this, like I said, I did, did have a couple of issues. Like it's, it's, I think it's going to be it's sturdy and you know it's very easy to to um, replace. As in, like you know, you can just replace the threads um, and you can just get tack anywhere. So it's you no, know, it's very very easy. I'm just checking here the the, the price. So the price of it is two hundred fifty dollars plus shipping, um, and um, it, you you'll need a nine volt battery for it by the way it does not come with it so you'll need a nine volt nine volt battery um the instruction videos is like i said it's very well shot and i think i can't remember unfortunately i can't remember the name of of, of the guy um uh that that gave the instruction but they're very very good it's quite it's quite funny um what is um explaining everything um Practicality, I think you can, you're gonna, like, the sky is the limit with this. You're gonna be able to come up with a lot, a lot of uh, different effects um, with it. I think um, there's also a Facebook group that uh, you can join, I, I think, or maybe, I, I can't remember if it's still, if it's still already active, but there was a Facebook group for, so people can, uh, can change their uh, ideas and give advice to people, where Bobby is uh, also a member. Um, the same way as if you if you have clone, which I have here, it's the same deal. You also have a, a Facebook group uh, where you can um, where you can uh, kind of change ideas and handlings. And if you have any issues, um, Juan is in there and he'll tell you what to do. Um, practicality again. I think you have a lot of a lot of things that you can do. Um, bank for buck. You know, once again, it's two hundred fifty dollars. Um, it's a bit pricey, but I think I, to be honest, I think it's worth it. Um, but again, it depends what type what type of magic you're you're doing. Like for me, I have a whole uh, again. I based all my um, magic or mechanics all around a particular plot, and I have a whole particular plot which is um, all about like voodoo and magic and black magic and all that type of stuff. And this just fits perfectly. And for me, it's worth it because it has such a, a big effect because uh, I, everything that I do, is I have a story behind it. So there's a reason for it. I don't necessarily like to do a, here's here's a, just a normal trick, unless unless people want it as a warm up or something like that. So I as an impact, I think it's, it's massive. But by itself, even by itself, I think it's quite good. So, um, I think as an overall, I think I'll give it about about an eight. Uh, I think it has a very strong impact. I think there's a couple of, like I said, a couple of issues that can happen. So you have to be careful with it. The, the whole thread coming out or popping out the magnet thing. Um, you know, we just have to be kind of take that into consideration. So it's just um, uh, be wary of it. Um, and I think that's it. Um, you know, like I said, this is the first review. I hope you like it. Um, if there's anything that you'd like me uh, to change or add, please let me know in the comments. Uh, like, share the video like everybody else, uh, every, every other YouTuber that asks. This is the first one, so hopefully I get to do some more. Um, and then please let me know in the comments what we'd like to see next. Uh, I'll show you some of the stuff that I have here. So I have clone. Um, so if you'd like me to review clone, just say it. I also have... Out of Sight by Joshua J. Sub Rosa by Jason England, uh, distributed by Theory 11. Um, Out of Sight, it's by Vanishing Inc., although uh, I actually bought it from Card uh, Shark. Then I have Flux, 
which is almost fell. Then I have Flux as well, uh, which I also got it. I got it on Tier 11, if I remember correctly. Uh, then I have Destiny deck by David Gonzalez and Winner's Dice. So if there's anything from these products that you'd like me to review, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll do something about it next. I'll just do one, one at a time. This time is two because once again, somebody already reviewed the static mark. I just want to give my two cents about it. So um, thanks very much. Uh, thanks for watching. And once again, like and share. And oh yeah, if you like me as well to share some uh, uh, tricks, like some simple tricks, uh, uh, just let me know. I won't do any reveals of anybody's uh, tricks. So uh, just, just. Uh, but if you'd like to get into magic, some simple tricks. I have some uh, different handlings for different uh, for traditional effects. Um, some, some make it easier, uh, and I think it also some makes it more impactful. So if you'd like to see that as well, please let me know. Uh, well, once again, thanks.